Chief Meteorologist Spencer Atkins now joins us live from Charleston. Spencer, how's it feel out there? All right. Well, hi, everybody. Spencer Adkins outside because it's not awful out here at all tonight. Temperatures are running in the 30s. In fact, let's start there. And we're looking at temperatures in the mid 30s currently across the I-64 corridor, low 30s in southeast Ohio, low to mid 30s in eastern Kentucky. Now, again, this is going to be a warmer night than the past couple of nights. Let's do weather by the numbers, shall we? All right. Here's a couple numbers that I want you to look at. 24. What is that? Number of days we've had, this is out of Charleston, with 32 degrees for a low or colder. That's a lot of nights here below 32. How about this one? Days with a low below zero, five days. That is really something. Actually, if we count this morning, it would now be six. All right, what about this one, 58? That was the warmest temperature that we've seen all month. And guess what? We'll get close to that here on Saturday. And how about this? Coldest morning? This is Charleston. Five below. Of course, we had 17 below in Athens two mornings ago. And then we have 11. That is the high temperature that occurred twice. That's the coldest high temperature that we had twice in January. And finally, looking at this number right here, the magic number. What is that one? 22? That's your low tonight. We can live with that. That's better than two below. All right, we'll come back. We'll have more numbers. We're going to talk a little bit, too, about some things we've learned in the past week when we're dealing with forecasts and some things that can go wrong when you're looking out well into the future. More on that in just a few minutes. See you then.